diamond painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder. I'm going to beg your forgiveness today. I'm battling a little bit of a sniffle, so my voice might be a little off today in this video, but thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> today, I want to show you how I order a custom diamond painting off of AliExpress. This is something I've had a lot of questions about lately, and if you stick around, I'm actually going to unbox the painting that I recently ordered as a custom here on the video today. So I'm really excited to get into that as well. The first thing you're going to want to do when you're ordering a custom diamond painting, of course, is to locate an appropriate image. So this might be a family photo. It might be a piece of artwork um, online that you found that you really want to turn into a custom. I actually did a video recently all about locating images that are copyright free and high resolution for your custom diamond paintings. So I will link that in the cards up top. Um, but one really big thing you want to watch out for is the resolution or the quality of your original image. So one thing you can do after you locate your image um, and have it downloaded is to just do the zoom test. So zoom in all the way on that image. Make sure it's not blurry or pixelated at a really, really zoomed in size. If it's not and it's still pretty clear, then you probably have a good image to turn into a diamond painting. Now you're also going to want to watch for different kinds of lighting effects in your photos. If your family photo has a really yellow cast or it's pretty dark, all of those things are going to be exaggerated when you turn it into a custom diamond painting. So I really suggest that you only use your very best photos when you're turning them into diamond painting. I've seen a lot of people disappointed by using slightly discolored photographs and then their diamond painting has like a really yellow cast or the faces don't turn out the way they want. So that's something to watch out for. Most um, sellers do not do a lot of color correction to your image. They might do some basic cropping and things like that, but you really need to make sure that your image um, is quality and looks really good before you submit it. So Next thing I'm going to do is go to aliexpress.com. You'll arrive at a homepage that looks like this. And what you're going to do is type in the name of the store that you want to order from. Now, if you order a custom from Royal Diamond Painting or some of the other sellers out there, the process is going to be really similar. Most of them have a custom listing in their store. I'm going to search for Ever Moment. And all I had to do was type up ever. <laughs> That's how often I look at this store. So I'm going to navigate to ever moment. Well, maybe I'll try ever moment store and we'll just see what we get. Right away up top, I got a listing for an ever moment custom, which is exactly what I want. If you don't get this right when you um, search and have some things pop up, you could also navigate to some of these ever moment listings and backtrack to the store that way. But I usually find this pretty easy to locate. So the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that the listed sizes here are in the range that I'm after. So the image I'm going to use is going to need to be a pretty big diamond painting. I'm thinking either a 60 by 80 or a 60 by 90, maybe even a 70 by 90. Um, but I know that even though that size isn't listed here, that Zoe at Ever Moment can make that work for me. So I'm going to go down, now that I'm on this page, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go down here to where it says contact. And this is always going to be your next step when you're ordering a custom. So this is going to take you to a message center where you can enter um, a message to Zoe and tell her exactly what you want. Now I am going to show you how to do this, <laughs> but there's some info on here that I don't want some of my viewers to see because... It's a surprise that's coming up. So um, <laughs> I'm going to try to navigate to a page I already have open across the top here. And hopefully we won't reveal anything I don't want to reveal. <laughs> if so, I'll cut a little section out of the video. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is enter a message in this bar across the bottom. Now what I'm going to tell the seller in this message is basically the rough size that I'm interested in. I'm going to ask her or him to make sure that my photo works well and I'm going to ask for a preview. So you can see I've already done that here. This is um, 
a painting by John William Waterhouse called Half, I'm, I'm Half Sick of Shadows, something like that. It's from the poem called The Lady of Shalott. Um, so this is the image that I want to order as a custom. So I'm going to show you the series of message, messages that I already sent to Zoe so you can see the process. But basically, I would enter that message down in the bar across the bottom. And to send my photo, I would click on this little plus sign. Navigate to my picture on my computer and then select open so that I can attach that to my message. So um, I've done that here. That's what this, this image is right here. And then I've said, hi Zoe, I'm interested in ordering this artwork as a custom diamond painting. I believe it will need to be at least 60 by 80 or even a little larger than that to work well. Can you tell me if the artwork is high enough resolution and advise me on what size you think I would need to create good detail? Thanks so much for any help you can give me. And Zoe, who's always very polite and friendly, says, good day. Here, attach the preview of 60 by 80. She gives me the price and a link where I can pay for that size. So um, I can see here on the desktop exactly how pixelated the image is going to be, what the rough colors are going to be. She cropped the picture a little bit, which was great because it had some... Um, sort of, it must have been frame showing around the outside. So that was really great. This image looked amazing. And so um, she also did send me another info, some more info for a 60 by 90, but I decided that that 60 by 80 was going to work just fine. So um, what I did then was go back to the link I selected the 60 by 80 size and then I added it to my cart. Okay. And then I just proceeded to check out as usual. So I would just select this little tick box over at the side and hit the buy button over here. She would take care of the rest because she's seeing that this purchase comes from me and I've already been in touch with her about what photo I want. So that is the basic process, <clears throat> excuse me, of ordering a custom diamond painting. It's really not difficult. It's just a little intimidating the first time you give it a try. So I encourage you to try this. It's really, really fun to work on artwork that you love. Um, I really, really, really enjoy my custom diamond paintings more than pretty much any other diamond paintings that I own, just because they're, they're artwork that I love and that I know I'm passionate about. So I hope that helps. Feel free to ask any questions below. I'm going to set up now so we can unbox this painting because it's already here and I'd like to show it to you. Okay guys, I'm so excited to get into this package. <laughs> this actually came on Monday and it's now Friday and I had to wait five whole days to open it because I wanted to open it here with you. So this is is, I believe, my custom ever moment. I ordered this painting on September 17th and it came on October 7th. So it was really fast this time. Um, sometimes these take about a month to get to me, but not even a month this time. So that's pretty exciting. The packing on this looks superb as usual. I find it's really um, with ever moments, it's unusual to get them, at least in my, in my post office, it's unusual to get them with any damage at all. So this is super exciting. This is super exciting. All right. We have some drills. Now, because this canvas is a 60 by 80, I'm thinking I probably won't be able to fit it sufficiently in camera. Um, to really show you the whole thing the way I'd like to. So I might have to get creative here in a bit. We'll see. It came in the usual customary ever moment tube with the usual customary ever moment really nice toolkit. Um, there's a multi-placer, a nice pen with a squishy, these wonderful ever moment tweezers, and um, 
the white boat with the funnel and two pieces of wax. Um, some washi tape to run around the outside edge. And then 44 colors um, on this canvas for drills. Now, we will look at drills, but I really want, I really want to see the canvas. <laughs> so, got some printouts, some instructions, an inventory sheet. And again, here's the photo. I'm so psyched about this one. You guys know if you've been around the channel at all, you know how much I love Waterhouse's paintings. So, I think so that I can show you more of this canvas. I'm gonna get a little creative um, in peeling this back. So, I might actually look at the drills first, even though I really wanna look at that canvas. Patience, Jessica, patience, patience. Oh, Zoe is so fantastic when she um, communicates about customs. Really great about letting you preview. Oh my gosh, that color green is beautiful. 913. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just going to kind of take them out and put them in a big pile, you know? I'll do some inventory off camera. It's not really my style to do inventory on camera. 3756 is a pretty color. Light green color. Not much white, sort of the um, more royal colors, regal colors, which I tend to gravitate toward quite a bit. Now I can tell from the way these are packed that this painting is going to be very confetti heavy. You know how I know because we have a lot of packages of like one thing. <laughs> and that's always a pretty good sign that you're gonna be changing colors a whole bunch, which to me is absolutely ideal because I love confetti. I love the way it makes my canvases look. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. Tell me below, what's your favorite DMC color? When you see it in your canvas, you just wanna die because you love it so much. <laughs> I have to say in this one, I am really digging this kind of um, light Kelly green color. That's really awesome. I've never had that one before. Okay, from what I'm seeing, as anticipated, the drills look fantastic. I'm seeing as I'm scanning the packages, absolutely no defects that are visible to me. Now, of course, I'll let you know when I start the canvas um, how the drill quality is and if there are any issues there. Um, because even with Ever Moment, there's a little bit of variability between shipments of drills. But I'll let you know about that. I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna go set up a wider screenshot so that you can see this canvas with me. I'm so excited. Be right back. Okay guys, here we are set up in my piano studio so that you can see this canvas from a little farther away. It's stunning, <laughs> just as anticipated. Um, because Zoe was kind enough to send me a preview of this painting, the one you saw earlier, I knew that the color was going to be pretty good and I'm pretty sure the detail is gonna be good at this size. I have the cover paper peeled back to about an inch from the bottom, so you're seeing most of the canvas um, at this distance. And like I said, I always think it's a good sign when you can tell what something is um, without any drills on it. You can definitely tell what this is without drills on this canvas. The canvas is absolutely perfect. No wrinkles, no rivers, no bubbles. Hopefully the climate up here in Montana won't affect the canvas too much at this moment. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to scoot you in just a tiny bit closer. Hopefully I won't make anybody sick here, but I'd like you to see a little bit more detail on the canvas itself. Um, I'll bring you back to the table in a minute and show you some more of the symbols, but this canvas is absolutely gorgeous. It's everything that I hoped it would be. 
<laughs> and then some. So this is actually my second John William Waterhouse um, painting, custom painting. The other one I did was a 50 by 60. This one's a 60 by 80. And this one's going to be much more detailed, I can tell. So I'm super excited about this. I'm going to bring you back to the table, show you a little bit of a closer shot of the canvas um, so that you can see the symbols. Okay, here we are back at the table. I've brought you a little closer to the canvas. I'm just going to bring this top section up a little bit so that you can see some of the symbols that are in this one. They look like the usual standard um, diamond painting symbols, but all really nice and clear. I'm loving what I'm seeing on the face there. Um, definitely flesh colors, which is always encouraging. <laughs> and um, a lot of confetti around the detail areas. So I'm really, really psyched about this one. I can't wait to get started on it soon. Hopefully I can bump it up in the rotation of my canvases um, so that you'll get to see it in the near future. I have so many big canvases, you guys. <laughs> this one's going to take a long time, um, but I'm really, really happy with it. I hope seeing my joy in this canvas will encourage you to order your own custom diamond painting. They really are a lot of fun. Like I said, you're guaranteed to get artwork that you're passionate about when you order a custom, and it's really a lot of fun to try. So hopefully you found today's video helpful. As always, spread some joy wherever you are today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.